What's up guys, Manny from Motor Million, and this is the ultimate brake upgrade video for your Yamaha R1 and R1M. It's no secret guys, when the new R1 and the R1M platform was introduced in 2015, there was a lot left to be desired in terms of the braking performance of these motorcycles. It was to a degree that some of the enthusiasts were grabbing the master cylinders off of their 2014 R1s and installing them on their new 2015 R1 R1M motorcycles that they received. But let's break things down a little bit in terms of what you're after with your brake upgrades on your R1 or R1M. I think if you are looking for a marginal increase in the braking performance, you should be looking at at least changing your front brake mass cylinder. And the RCS19 or the Corsa Corta variant is the correct upgrade for the R1 or R1M meaning that the piston size matches what is on your front brakes because when you're upgrading your master cylinder you should match the piston size found in your master cylinder to the calipers of your motorcycle and i want to note that there is a mechanical brake light switch found on your master cylinder the brembo comes with a master cylinder brake light switch but it is not plug and play you have to splice it in and this is not a hard thing to do but you should be noted that you have to wire up your brake lights when you do the master cylinder upgrade on your R1 or R1M. The next thing you're probably gonna to wanna to do is match your brake lever and your clutch lever once you upgrade your brake master cylinder. TWM has the clutch lever available for the R1 and R1M. It's a quick swap over and it comes with the low drag lever ends on the clutch side. If you wanna upgrade your master cylinder, to match the look of the TWM clutch lever and the low drag brake levers that it has, there is a lever blade that's available for the RCS19 and the RCS19 Corsa Corta by TWM, what we call the low drag lever blade, which you can find on our website. Once you upgrade your master cylinder on your R1 or R1M, if you want to take that next step further, but you have a budget in mind and you're budget restrained, the front brake caliper is the next biggest change that you will do on your R1 or R1M. And I think it is the most noticeable change that you will do in terms of braking performance on your motorcycle. And we offer the GP4RX caliper for the R1 or the R1M. And please note that once you're installing that brake caliper on your motorcycle, your brake lines will fit. It will not be in an optimal position, but you could still run your stock brake lines. But don't forget, you will need your caliper spacers to run these calipers on your R1 or R1M. And if you're not budget restrained and you're after that ultimate braking upgrade for your R1 or R1M in terms of the calipers, we offer a complete brake package upgrade in terms of the calipers. It includes everything you need except your front brake master cylinder. That's your front tubal carbon fiber braided brake lines, your GP4 RX front calipers, the spacers and your underslung rear caliper setup which gives you the nickel plated rear caliper that matches your front caliper and the added benefit of that being it lowers the center of gravity of your motorcycle because now the weight of the brake is sitting underneath it's lighter than your stock brake caliper and it makes your rear wheel removal easier and i want to note that if you're running the stock wheels on your r1 or r1m and getting that full caliper upgrade make sure you select an option that says you have the stock wheels because you're going to need to change that rear wheel hub found on your stock wheels which will make that underslung setup work properly with your motorcycle but if you have aftermarket wheels such as these ones found on the motor million r1m you do not need to select that optional wheel hub setup now that we covered the some of the brake upgrades in terms of the performance of the brakes let's talk about a little bit in terms of the looks that you could do with some brake upgrades that you could do on this bike in the front end of your r1m if you want to aesthetically upgrade your reservoir rizoma offers great options that we have listed on our website you could pick various colors and different styles of reservoirs and if you want to further that along, you could upgrade your reservoir tubing with the Tigon tubing available. And I think it's a great upgrade, especially given the fact that it costs less than an exotic cup of coffee that you'd purchase from your local coffee shop. And also, if you've been following the Motor Million R1M builds, we did upgrade the rear 
master cylinder on this motorcycle. It does not offer the added benefit of getting better brake feel at the back of your motorcycle, but this upgrade, it offers the great aesthetic benefit of removing your reservoir. But if you wanna change your rear reservoir to something that is prettier, you could always opt in for the Rizoma rear reservoir that's on our website. Now that we went over the upgrades in terms of your master cylinders, your calipers, and some of the aesthetics things that we mentioned, let's talk about your front rotors. The R1 and R1M come from factory with semi-floating rotors, and you can further upgrade them by running the fully floating rotor options available from Brembo, be it the T-Drives or the Super Sports. And we went into the technical details and the differences between the Super Sports and T-Drives on our Basics of Brake Upgrades video. Go and check out that video. But when you go from a semi-floating rotor to a fully floating rotor, you're getting the added benefit of less brake drag, that's being caused by your road is not floating fully. But also don't forget when you upgrade to the Super Sport or the T-Drives, you're running a different type of steel on your rotors, meaning that it gives you a better brake bite in terms of the feel. Now that we mentioned our front rotors, let's talk about our rear rotor. The rear rotor option that we have is the ultralight rotor. It does not give any added performance in terms of the braking power of the motorcycle, but it reduces the rotating mass from your rear wheel, which gives you more power that goes into the ground rather than being spent by trying to spin a heavier rotor that's in the back. And as mentioned on our Basics of Brake Upgrade video, that rotor is more than capable of anything that you could throw at it. Even some Motor America race teams that are running the R1 and R1M platforms as the race bikes are running the exact same rotor on their motorcycle. Now that we went over most of the hardware that you could upgrade on your Yamaha R1 or R1M, let's talk about the brake fluid. Our brake fluid of choice is the Brembo HTC 64T. We love it because it's the least compressible fluid. It gives you that optimal brake feel that you could achieve from your braking system. And let's say that the brake feel is an upgrade in terms of a rider because it gives us the confidence that we need when we're riding and that itself is I think the biggest upgrade that you could do to make sure that you're confident with the bike so that if you're on track, when you go for your brakes, you could try to extend that braking zone further and further in terms of the braking marker that you're using. And if you're on the street, you wanna make sure that you're confident so you're not being distracted by having some sloppy brakes on your motorcycle. And now that you're thinking of changing your brake fluid, let's talk about the bleeder valves. You see these pretty valves on our motorcycles. These are not just great aesthetic upgrades, but they are very functional in terms of what they offer. They're the Stalbus bleeder valves. They make it easier and more efficient when you're bleeding your braking system because there's a one-way check valve inside. When you go to bleed your brakes, you don't need to keep opening and closing the valve while trying to pump your brakes. You could open the valve and keep pump pumping all of the fluid through your braking system, try to get all of the air out of it. And when you're done, you simply just tighten them down. One other thing that's commonly upgraded on these motorcycles are the brake pads. I'm not gonna go into the details of brake pad upgrades because I think the caliper options that we mentioned come with great pads for any of the road users. And if you're at a level that you wanna upgrade your brake pads to get better braking, you're already at a level of being able to choose what you want in terms of the characteristics of the braking that you want. So I wanna leave that to you guys because it's not something that we could advise you on unless we knew the exact riding style that you have. And it's something that you should try to read up on and find exactly what you're looking for in terms of the braking characteristics that you wanna achieve with your pads. And after watching this video, if you still have specific questions about braking upgrades for your R1 or R1M, reach out to one of our Motor Million team members and they'll be more than happy to try to answer your questions to the best of their abilities. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, guys, have a great one.